Support comes from the Missouri Forest Products Association, committed to conservation and careful management of the state's forests to make them more resilient and better habitats for wildlife. Choosewood.com. Welcome to St. Louis on the Air. I'm Sarah Fenske. For some of us, the thought of a video game musical score brings to mind this nostalgic gem. But the themes that accompany more recent games are far more orchestral. Like film scores, this music has earned a spot in the world of contemporary classical music. Take, for instance, this clip performed by the Triforce Quartet. And that's from The Legend of Zelda. And it's just one of the gamer delights on the program Sunday at the 560 Music Center in University City. That's where orchestras from Washington University and the University of Missouri-St. Louis are putting on their first joint concert. And joining us today to talk about it is Darwin Aquino. He is the director of orchestras at both Wash U and UMSL. So Darwin, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. Now, you've said the bill at this free concert is the music of nowadays. Do you think musical scores from video games are kind of, they've become the soundtrack of our lives? Absolutely. It's the music that we hear every day. And especially our young people, they are hearing that music while they they play the video games or they see a movie. So that's why we decided for this very special event, first to put Two university orchestras together, we are going to have more than 100 young, talented musicians on stage Hmm. playing the music of today. As you said, we are going to have the privilege of giving the people the opportunity to listen to scores like Zelda, World of Warcraft, Skyrim, Final Fantasy, films like Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, and also Broadway music, uh, American composer Leonard Bernstein. Candides, his musical. We are going to play Glitter and Be Gay, one of the selections of that wonderful piece. And, of course, we are going to share all this music together with a screen full of images of all the video games and the films at the time that we play the music life. So it won't just be that you can hear the sounds of your favorite video games. They're going to be up there on the big screen as well. Absolutely. It's going to be a multimedia concert. uh, And we are delighted to also have soloists from both universities. We will have Professor John Magrosso in the violin. And we will have Professor Kelly Daniel Baker, soprano, also singing with us. So it's a wonderful collaboration. I am so happy that we have the opportunity to bring people together through music and a special thanks to Washington University for producing this concert and to OMSOL University of St. Louis for supporting us in this project. So I, I do have a question though. How is it possible that this is the first time that these two university orchestras have come together? That seems unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I mean, both institutions are 10 minutes apart? Right. I mean, uh, actually, there, there's and, no excuse for this. Yeah, and I have been privileged of working in both places. When I came to St. Louis three years ago, I started working at OMSOL as director of orchestras. Then I was able to, to join university Washington University as the director of orchestras as well. And of course, if you have the conductor in both places, <laughs> makes it a lot easier. Makes it a lot easier. I've been rehearsing with both ensembles since the beginning of the year, preparing this huge program. And this week, of course, we are putting together both ensembles to the preparations for Sunday. Well, so look, I mean, you being at the helm of these two entities, I'm sure it made it a lot easier. But did you have bureaucratic hurdles you had to overcome after that? Or was everyone on board? From everyone the get-go? on board. Really? Everyone on board because we all believe in both universities and music department departments that is a brilliant idea. Mm-hmm. That is something that we should do and keep doing. And I did it in my country, the Dominican Republic, where it's kind of a tradition to join orchestras. Bring two different orchestras. Bring two together. different orchestras. I come from El Sistema, which is a big orchestral movement in Latin America that for us is the way to go bringing people together through music. And since, I, since I've since i been living here, 
I just had the dream of, of making it possible. Now, statistically, um, students who go to Washington University have much different backgrounds than students who go to UMSL. I'm wondering, when you got these ensembles together and started rehearsing, was there any friction between here's the kids from one school, here's the kids from the other? Absolutely not, because music is a universal language. And it doesn't matter where you come from, what you are doing, what's your background, what you are studying, because, of course, we have in both university orchestras majors in music, but we have players that are doing other majors, mm. other careers, of course. But music is the perfect way to unite people. That's why the title of the concert is Unite, and it's an amazing energy and feeling to see them share a stance one player from one orchestra next to the player of the other. So they are not going to play with they with who they usually play in the rehearsal. You're really but, mixing things yeah, up. But actually, they are sharing a human and social experience through this concert as well. And now your first joint rehearsal, which I guess is everybody, that took place last night? That took place last night. How that, did it go? It went wonderful. It was, I'm telling you, I had goosebumps eh, hearing such a powerful orchestra because we are combining two it's a lot big of forces. Players. It's a lot of players. And that is what people is going to get on Sunday when you listen to them and when you watch that screen. I don't know. I guess people will cry, you know. And You'll have them bawling. Yes. I was crying yesterday, so that's why I'm a little tired today because it has been a lot of work. Emotional roller coaster. Yes, absolutely. But uh, here... Our invitation for people to join us on Sunday, it's free. It's a concert for the family. Bring your friends, bring everyone. It's a beautiful hall, the 560 Music Center. We are so grateful that the university, Washington University, is producing and hosting us for this concert. And the acoustics are just marvelous. So I'm sure it's going to be a people will have a wonderful time. So just one last question. What is the piece that you think is going to be the biggest crowd pleaser in a series I, of all these I mean, crowd pleasers? It, it depends on what video games <laughs> you are playing or what movie you you like. But I am truly connected with Lord of the Rings, also with Harry Potter's music, mm -hmm. and definitely Bernstein. That is one of the it's main America. It's a classic. And But the entire program, I mean, we have been very selective mm -hmm. in the scores because not all video game and film music is great, mm -hmm. but these ones, uh, I'm sure that is a selection that people will enjoy. Well, that's a promise. You're going to enjoy this one. So Darwin Aquino, conductor of orchestras at Washington University and UMSL, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is St. Louis on the Air on St. Louis Public Radio, 90.7 KWMU. Support comes from Missouri Forest Products Association, committed to sustainable and sound conservation of the state's forests, which support more than 41,000 Missouri jobs, resulting in a $10 billion industry. Choosewood.com.